All right, now what is it? Crickets chirp at a particular temperature speed. So we can actually tell you what temperature it is by the tempo of crickets chirping within a certain range, degrees. And they all stop chirping when you start talking about them. But anyway, the whole point of this is walking. We've done everything but the important things. And when it comes to music, this is Muse. A music or something? Two, three, one, two, three, yeah. Because people don't walk very well. They can barely get to the store. We used to spend all our days on our feet. Well, someone invented the chair. We haven't looked back, so... Anyway, when you're walking, the best place to keep your hands? Behind you. Sort of. Beside you. Sort of. So sort of behind you and beside you is where the hands ought to be. Now I've got a thing in my hand that's making it kind of hard to put these hands out. But they would be back here somewhere. Yes, they'd be back about there somewhere. Tempo, we're going to get to that. That's really important. But it's time signature. You can't have time without tempo signature. You can get one without the other. Get this, it's a spectrum. Like wavelength and frequency. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Why wouldn't you stick with five as a basic? It's two and five go together. You flip over a five, you get a point two. You know, you get flip over a two, you get a point five. But so five and two are related. Okay, let's just leave it at that. But three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. You can get really nasty too. You can put a peak in the middle, two, three, four, five, you know, and put a real nasty descending crescendo at the end. But however you like to intonate your intone. Intone or intonate? Anyway, however you like to whisper your message of love to yourself, of course. So, two, three, one, two. With your hands sort of beside you, sort of behind you. I'd say start in something comfortable, but if you start in common time, I can tell you what happens with common time here. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Your right foot always takes the beating. You want to stay in odd meters because it switches them from left to right. And that's how we count. We won't even count common time. Common. No, we'll put two and three together so we can at least get somewhat of an... Well, they're secular and compound, so I guess an, an odd, which is kind of like compound. We don't want to make the relationship between odd and compound. Double up and subtract one. That is the map between even and odd numbers. That's how 